it's the 16th of December 2020 and Tropical Cyclone Yasa has unfortunately become a Category 5 hurricane strength system on the Saffir Simpson scale. I will be using the Saffir Simpson scale in this video because it's what I'm used to and what is consistent for hurricanes and hurricane damage. Currently the time in Fiji is 11.26 as I'm making this video. Yasa currently has estimated winds of 140 knots. That is one minute sustained winds of 260 kilometers an hour or 161 miles per hour. The eye is very symmetric and has a 20 nautical mile diameter. Here are the sea surface temperatures and actually you can see some cooling already being detected in the analysis over the storm but the temperatures ahead of the storm heading in are, let's see, we've got oranges, 29 degrees Celsius or so, so plenty warm. The maximum potential intensity in the area is category five, and in the blues, that's category five in the winds and in the pressure. Get a bit more familiar with the topography of Fiji. Here we've got the storm at an angle coming in towards the two islands of Fiji earlier today. The current JTWC Joint Typhoon Warning Center track has the storm coming through and coming through the channel at 130 knots. That would make it a Category 4 hurricane on the Safra Simpson scale. Category 4 hurricane corresponds to catastrophic damage will occur. Well built framed houses can sustain severe damage with loss of most of the roof structure and some exterior walls. Most trees will be snapped or uprooted or out and power poles downed. There may be long lasting power outages and disruption to the water supply. The main islands of Fiji are Viti, Levu, and Vanua Levu and the storm coming through at 130 knots. Now in the southern hemisphere, the winds are blowing this way around the storm. And the strongest winds will be on the side, which has is in the same direction of travel. Now, although this is coming in and hitting this island, particularly this coastline, very, very hard in the JTWC forecast, there is uh, some disagreement in the models with some of the, some of the models taking it more closer in towards Vanua. So let's just take a quick look at those model tracks. As an example, here we've got the Hurricane Wharf. Each triangle is 50 knots, so two triangles is 100, then plus the bar makes it 140 knots. This is the Category 5 initialization. And as we move forward in the simulation, the storm comes down towards Fiji, and you can see that still it's maintaining Category 4 strength as it comes in, and it actually, you can see it's actually a little bit the west of the JTWC forecast and into Viti more than to Vanua. And actually looking at the other model tracks, it does look like the consensus is taking it slightly to the west into Viti northeast coast. So overall, it does look like a category four strength storm on the Saffir Simpson scale moving somewhere, either making landfall on Vanua or Viti. Those models were suggest suggesting Viti, but either way, depending on where it goes, these coastlines are going to suffer some severe damage. If you are along these coasts, please get away from the water and seek sturdy shelter. And that's about it for me. See you in the next one.